Hi there. Namaste. Welcome to the day 11 of our 30 day yoga for weight loss challenge with me Naveen Sharma. Today we are doing a power yoga class. In case you have not attended the previous session of this challenge, then I highly recommend you that you practice those sessions first and then you practice this session. But if you have already completed all the previous 10 sessions, then kudos to you, you are doing great already. Today's session you are most welcome. Let's get started now without a further ado. So we'll just sit in either Sukhasana or I'm sitting in Vajrasana so you can try this as well whichever works best. Keeping your back straightened, bringing your index fingers to the thumb, palms facing up. Very gently close your eyes. We'll go ahead for 3 deep inhale and exhale. Let us repeat this affirmation in your mind for three times. I love nourishing myself. All right. On that positive note, bring your palms together. Namaste. Start to rub your palms. Bring good amount of energies in your palms, and then place your palms to your face. Spread the warmth of your palms to your face. looking at your palms with a beautiful smile and a few blinks now all right so let's get started now we'll go ahead for our kapalabhati for three round how we have always been doing so i'm just coming back to sukhasana if you feel like switching back to sukhasana please do so or else you can still be in vajrasana now let's keep the back straight you already know it but just to reiterate in case you have any challenge with your abdomen or if you have high bp you will avoid kapalabhati and you will go ahead with abdominal region breathing all right so let's get started we are doing the first round now and we can relax observing the changes happening within the body and mind soft inhale and exhale mentally prepare yourself for the second round let's go ahead for the second round now Now you can relax. Continue to keep your eyes closed. We'll go ahead for the third round in some time.
And now let's go ahead for the round three. And now relax. Let us go ahead for three deep inhale and exhale. As you feel relaxed, bring your palms together in Namaste. Start to rub your palms, creating good amount of energies. And then bring your palms to your face, energizing yourself. Slowly look at your palms with a beautiful smile and a few blinks. And then let's get started now. We'll go ahead with a warm up now. First warm up is going to be Pada Hastasana twist. So let us come up and stand up. And from here, we will do it like this. Just look at it once. So you will keep your both the feet slightly apart. You will stretch your arms up high, interlocking it. And then exhale, gently bending your knees. You will take your both the palms down. And then you will switch. You will take your right palm to the left side, either on the fingertips or you will press it completely down. From there, exhale, you will raise your left hand up higher. And then you come back and change. Left palm down again. Exhale, right and up higher. And then from there, we slowly come back again, going for the second round like that. All right, so let's go ahead for total five rounds like this. Make sure both the feet are slightly apart. Interlock your palms, stretch your arms up. And then exhale, leaning forward down, taking your right palm to the left, and then stretch your left hand up higher. Exhale, inhale, both the hands down. Exhale, right hand up higher. And then again, inhale. Exhale, slowly come back. That was around one. Second round, again, inhale. Exhale, leading forward down. You can have your knees bent if you feel like. Right palm to the left. Exhale, left hand up higher. Slowly down, change. Right hand up higher, down, and then slowly coming back up, third round, stretch your arms up, inhale, exhale, right palm to the left, raise your left hand up higher, slowly take your both palms down, inhale, exhale, right hand up high, very slowly come back, and then inhale, come up. Inhale, fourth round. Exhale, leaning forward down. Inhale, right palm to the left. Exhale, left and up higher. Very slowly again, hands down. Inhale, exhale, left palm down. Right up in the air. Very slowly, both the hands down. Gently coming back. We'll go for the last round now. Again, inhale. Exhale, down. Right palm to the left. Left hand goes up high. Very slowly, both the hands down. Left to the right. Again, right hand up higher. Very slowly, hands down. And then inhale, coming back. Wonderful. So we are done now. 
for total five rounds with the Padahastasana twist. Now let's get started with our power yoga sequence. You already know that we have a couple of asanas in that and you also have your asana of the day. So let's get started. The first one is going to be Veerabhadrasana from Adho Mukha Shvanasana. So let's go ahead. You will come into this position. First look at it. You will take your both the feet behind. If you can, press your heels down. Great. Or else you can have your knees bent. From here, you will take your right foot forward. Your back sole will be down. And then you will come up. When you come up, you make sure that the right knee is exactly on top of your right ankle. And your both the hands are like this. Make sure we don't take the upper body to the front. We keep it here only. Both the hands up high. We look at the palm. And then again, we go down. We push back. And then do the same thing on the left side. Let's go ahead and do this for total five rounds now together. Exhale, pushing back. And now inhale, right leg forward, back sole down. Raising your hands, look at your right palm. Exhale, both the palms down. Again, moving back to the downward facing dog. Taking the left leg forward, right sole down. And then we come up, inhale, exhale, both the palms down, we push back, left leg, right leg again goes forward, warrior two, Virabhadrasana two, exhale, down, and taking your left leg forward, warrior two, inhale, Exhale, moving back, we'll go for third round, right leg forward, left sole down, inhale, exhale, both the palms down, moving back, left leg, right sole down, and then inhale, coming up, exhale, palms down, slowly move back fourth round right leg forward back sole down and then inhale warrior two exhale push back last round to go right leg forward inhale up exhale pushing back inhale and then exhale and slowly bringing your knees down just take a deep breath inhale now we will go ahead for our supta dandasana variation which is going to be lying down so let us stretch the legs forward and we lie down on our back perfect from here let us take the legs up higher it's okay if the legs are slightly bent otherwise try and straighten you can have your palms below or by the side from here it's very simple you will take your both the legs down to 10 degrees and then you will bring it up to 90 try and keep pointing your toes and see if you can avoid lifting your hips too much high we're going for total 10 rounds Let's see if we can go ahead with all 10. Let's start now. Slowly inhale, legs down and exhale, legs up. Keep going. Two. Three. It's okay if your knees are slightly bent. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. One last time. Ten. And relax. All right, it's wonderful for core strengthening, your hip flexors strengthening. 
Now, let's go ahead for our next one. The next one is going to be plank, santulan asan, a variation in that. So, by now you are already aware of what santulan asan is. This is what is santulan asan. I need you to have your legs slightly apart in this one. And what you need to do is slowly, as it is, lift your right leg up higher. Hold it for a second and then bring it down. Then left leg up high, hold it for a second and bring it down. Like this, we will go ahead and do this. Only if it becomes very challenging, you will keep your knees down and then you will take your right leg up and then bring it down. But try and go ahead with the first version. It will work more. We'll go ahead for total five rounds because we'll do slow. Press your palms down, coming into the Santalan Asan with me. Avoid hip movement. One. Inhale. Exhale. Two. I'm oh, sorry, the left side. Inhale. Exhale. Two. Left side. Stay there. Down. Three. Press your palms. Keep pulling your toe in when you lift it up. Four. Pull the belly in. Last round. And wonderful. This works really well if you do it slowly and continue to engage your abdominal region. Right? So make sure that every time you do this, you do it exactly the same way. All right, let's go ahead for our next asana. The next asana is going to be Parshvakon asana followed by Vipreet Veera Bhadrasana. So here it, here is it, how it will go for. You will go into the downward facing dog. I'm just showing you with the left leg first. You will take your left, hand, left leg forward and your left hand will be inside. Your right sole will be down. You will take your right hand up higher and from there you will inhale and take your right hand to the back leg. And then again, you will take your both the hands down and then moving back into the downward facing dog. So that's how we will move into this position. So let's go ahead now together. We will get started from downward facing dog. Let's go for five rounds. Right leg forward, keeping your back sole down and take your right palm to inside. First, Parshva Konasan, left and up higher. Inhale, exhale. And then inhale, left hand up. Your right hand goes up, left hand on the left leg. Exhale, both the palms down. And moving your right leg back. Let's go ahead with the left side. Left leg forward first. Back sole down. Left palm to inside. Now inhale. Exhale, right hand up. And then inhale, right hand goes back. And then slowly come back, exhale. Moving your left leg back. So just remember, this is going to be your asana of the day. Right leg forward, second round. First you will do Parshvakon asana, right hand in. You will inhale first. Exhale, left hand up. And then... Inhale, you will raise your left hand up higher, Vipreeta Veera Bhadrasana. With exhale, you will take your hands down, moving again back. Left leg forward, taking it in, first inhale, and then exhale, right hand up high. Inhale, right hand behind, left hand goes up higher. And then exhale, taking your palms down, Moving back into Parvatasana or Downward Facing Dog. Third round. Right leg forward. Back sole down. Exhale, left hand up. Inhale, left hand goes back, right up. 
exhale both the palms down your right leg goes back taking your left leg forward left hand inside inhale exhale right hand up higher both the palms oh sorry <laughs> right hand up higher from here we will inhale going back and then coming down moving your left leg back now fourth round right hand in exhale all right again i forgot left hand up slowly taking your both the palms down moving back taking your left leg forward left hand in sole down inhale first exhale right hand up and then inhale your right goes back very slowly take your both the hands down last round to go right leg forward sole down inhale exhale left hand up and then inhale vipareeta virabhadrasan exhale last side left leg forward taking your left leg left hand in sole down inhale exhale right hand up inhale vipareeta virabhadrasan and then exhale moving back pushing back nicely and then relax now from there we will move ahead for another asana but before that just remember these are the two asanas you will do exact in the same fashion you'll come into the downward facing dog right leg forward first parshvakona asana then vipareeta virabhadrasana and then just repeating the same on the left side this is your asana of the day make sure you shoot it and post it on facebook community yoga with navin all right let's go for the next asana vipareet shalab asan all right for this one you will lie down like this your hands will be forward now what you need to do is lifting the legs lifting the hands and then pulling your hands like this in a w position so your elbows will be almost by the side of a rib cage and you will again take your hands forward down we'll do this for all 10 rounds we'll come up with inhale we'll go down with exhale so let's get started now together with me inhale and exhale two inhale up exhale forehead down three and down four down five inhale up exhale down six down seven down eight down last two more keep going nine and 10 wonderful let's take a deep breath in here exhale it out completely and as you feel comfortable you can slowly coming back and relax now you just be here in this position quickly look at the next asana variation in makar adho mukha shonasan four arms plank So here you have your makaratha mukha svanasana this is how you do that keeping your legs slightly wider in this time because the variation would require from here tightening the glutes inhaling exhaling and then taking your right hand forward bringing it back taking your left hand forward and bringing it back so we'll do this slowly we'll take the right hand forward bring it back left hand forward bring it back at that time make sure the hips are not moving much that is one thing that you need to focus more on in case this is very challenging here is the simplified version you take the knees back pull the belly in take your hand forward back forward back all right let's go ahead for total 5 rounds keep pulling the belly in coming up 
into the plank position. Tighten the glutes, pull the belly in, inhale, exhale. Now keep breathing in and out normally. Right hand forward, back, left hand forward, back, two, right forward, back, left forward, back, three, right forward, back, left forward, back, four, right forward, back, left forward, back, last one, right forward, back, left forward and back and then relax all right this is a killer but works amazingly for your core strength i hope you enjoyed it let's go ahead with our last asana that we will hold for 30 second supta danda asana we will lie down on the back and we will raise our legs 45 degrees from the ground like this you can point your toe or pull it towards you whichever works best let's go ahead for 30 seconds all right first we will lift the legs and now hold it just breathing in and breathing out in case you feel you need to keep your palms below the low back please go ahead and do that your legs can be fully straight or slightly bent both works you can point or flex either ways just breathing in and out allow this to work on your abdominal region and the hip flexors all right five more breathing in and out three two one and relax perfect just breathing in breathing out all right so with this we complete our power yoga sequence here now we will go ahead for two asanas which will help us cool down the body a little bit more first one is uttana prishta asana for this one let us come here all right in the tabletop position just breathing in and out and from here we will take our right leg forward we will take the left leg back see if you can push the hip forward and keep your left toe out behind and then gently only if the body allows take the left forearm down in case it is becoming very challenging you can be here as well otherwise left forearm down if you're comfortable here as well then see if you can take your right forearm down too and then holding it for 10 breaths let's stay here one two keep feeling it on the right side of the glutes three breathing in and out four make sure you're looking at the center of your wrist five inhale and exhale six seven eight nine and ten first come on your right palm and then come on your left gently take your right leg back all right this would have created a lot of space on the right side of the glutes let's do the same thing on the left taking your left foot outside pushing the right leg back if your body allows take your right forearm down and if you're still comfortable take your left going for 10 breaths one breathing in breathing out two three four five six keep observing the changes happening to the left side of the glutes eight nine and 10 very slowly come back on your left palm come back on your right palm taking your left leg back all right let's move ahead for our last asana it's going to be supta matsyendra asana 
we will lie down on the back taking a deep breath inhale now from here stretch your left leg forward and now take your right foot outside your left thigh take your left palm to the right knee make sure you're already here take your right hand to the right side now you will take the knee down to the left and you will look to the right very important that you keep your right shoulder down it's okay how much ever the knee goes let's hold it here and one two breathe in and out three four five six seven breathe eight nine ten very slowly we come back now you can stretch your right leg forward we will fold the left leg and taking the left foot outside the right thigh and try to grab your left knee with your right palm left hand to the left how much ever the body allows taking your left knee to the right and at the same time keeping your left shoulder down looking to the left one two breathe in and out three four five six seven eight nine ten very gently come back bringing your legs back we'll take a deep breath inhale there and now slowly stretch your legs forward just look forward for once to find the center allows the allow the toes to fall down hands by the side and then gently relax your head chin a little lower lower back settled on the mat keeping your eyes closed we are in shavasana going for three deep inhale and slow exhale Now let's go ahead for three humming sound to deepen the relaxation. You can stop humming and start to observe the vibrations all throughout your body and mind. With each inhale and exhale, your body and mind are becoming more and more relaxed. Your body and mind are now completely relaxed.
Very gently come back to the body consciousness. Sensitize your toes, your palms. Bringing your legs closer, pointing your toes. Interlock your palms and stretch the arms behind. Exhale and loosen up. Fold your legs. We'll take a turn to the side. Staying here for a moment, make sure you give support to your head. Very slowly come back. Sitting in a comfortable position, with your back straight, eyes closed. We will settle on, settle down all the energies with one deep inhale and exhale. Bring your palms together in Namaste. Start to rub your palms. Bring a good amount of heat in your palms. Palms on your face. Spread the warmth all over your face. And then look at your palms with a beautiful smile and a few blinks. All right, my dear friend, we are done with our today's session, day 11. We are moving closer to our goal each day. And you are doing fantastic. Just continue to do this and you will see great results. Make sure to clock in 10K steps and don't forget to shoot the asana of the day and post it on the Facebook community Yoga with Naveen. You already know if you have any queries, you can directly reach out to me on my Instagram handle, which is itsnaveen.sharma. I'll see you in the next session with a lot more energy. Until then, you take care. Bye-bye. Namaste.